Hi there, my name is Michael Ryder. I am lead fabricator and welder here at Local Motors. Uh, I'm here today to show you our the beginning of the build of our motorcycle jig. Uh, as many of you know, I'm sure, we are coming out with a motorcycle, the Local Motors Racer. Uh, and this is the jig that we are building to produce said motorcycle. Right now we've got just a regular Harley Sportster frame uh, jigged up in here for the mock-up. Uh, the front half of the bike at least is uh, what we use for the racer and then we cut off and put a hardtail back half on. So the, uh, the, in, the in and outs of this here jig, we've made it completely adjustable as you can see with all these uh, bolt holes and rails that go all the way down. Uh, the idea is that maybe in the future we'll make different bikes or variations of the racer, make it longer, possibly shorter. Uh, you can raise up this, this plate right here is for the rear axle locator. So you can raise that if you want to run larger wheels, lower it for smaller wheels. Uh, same with the head tube up here. This plate allows us to adjust the head tube angle from 85 degrees all the way down to 45 which I thought was plenty and then I come to find out there are choppers out there with 42 degree rakes so we're just a little on the short side there but again completely adjustable top to bottom just bolts together uh, here in a couple weeks I'm sure I'll be building a rotisserie for this to sit in so we can uh, you know have 360 degree access to weld it and then to send it off to powder I designed this motorcycle jig after looking at several examples of uh, ones I found on the internet some of them were you know, you could find pictures of jigs that people had in their shops or for their production bikes or uh, kits that people sold. Um, a lot of them were basically infinitely adjustable. These bolts back here, instead of going through a locating plate, would just, you know, these plates would squeeze up against the, the head tube mast. And I shied away from that because if this ever got knocked or, or bumped or something, it could you know, misalign this and then we'd have to go back and remeasure it. If we decided to make a different bike and every time we'd go to make the same bike, we'd have to be, you know, remeasure it. This way I can say, okay, I need this hole and this hole but for this bike, just bolt it up and you're ready to go. So the next steps on this jig, so far we've got the head tube located. We've got the lower motor mounts located here. You can't quite see that. Um, we're working on locating the rear axle mount or basically the back half. We have a store-bought back half here. And we'll probably end up fabricating in house later on. Um, what we need to do is locate this uh, rear axle slot. Which aligns with this rear axle slot. This, rear, this mast right here will probably have to move back a couple inches. Um, but that's really what we're working on right now. This, this Sportster frame will get cut somewhere in here and up here. And as you can see, provided it's been uh, turned down so it'll just sleeve in, we'll weld it up, and it'll be solid and ready to go.